Hi everybody, it's Gamer Number Nine Eight here, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Last time we failed and succeeded at Rusty Bucket Bay, and now in this part we're gonna hopefully carry on with the success of Rusty Bucket Bay. I know where to go now. We'll leave the ship for now and go this way. You know, there's a toll gate here. Shows how many eggs you need to put in the hole to make something happen. Right. We're gonna put in another four. Make this platform come out even more so we can get those items. And avoid that annoying gutter enemy. Right. Alright, so, okay, we can break through here. There isn't a way into this warehouse, but this is the best way. Oh. And then I fell down anyway. But going down here is better off because we can get these notes. Right. So now we'll just go up as normal. We we'll have to exit through the main entrance though, with all the oily water. So how did it become oily and polluted? Did the um, ship dump oil in the water? Well either way there's a jiggy. I think that's all there is. Okay there's a one up there. Right that's it. We'll have to go out through this way like I said. Now when you're travelling across the water, it's always best that you constantly jump as you move. Oh crap, it puts you under water when you leave. Oh. Oh, the poor guy. I'm trapped. Help, get this thing off Snorkel. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. Alright. Quick. Right, so we're gonna save Snorkel, the dolphin. Snorkel, snorkel, faster than lightning. Oh, that theme song was awful. Now, to get this anchor of Snorkel, we need to just follow the chain. Pretty obvious. Whoa, I glitched. And now we're in this section. Waste no time because your light, your air does go down very fast in that water. And plus your air isn't fully restored until you are out of the water for about 3 seconds. Ooh, that hurt. There's no one in here. Ahoy! Oh. Okay, there we go. Just grab the notes and then hit the switch. And that will actually make the anchor go through him. But either way, he's free. Thanks guys, I found this earlier. It's yours, my friend. Right. Save the dolphins. Don't pollute the water. And don't drop anchors on dolphins. Snorkel's lucky he can survive the polluted waters. Can we? No. So the jiggy's on the bottom of the water, of the floor. So grab it quickly and get out of the water. Get out of the water! Help me. Good. So now, there's this um, part here, you can see Jinjo over there, you can get there easily, let's go. HE'S BACK! They brought Snacker back. Right. Okay, you can see a hole there. That hole's pretty hard to find. And it's risky because of Snacker! But... Well, 
If I could just get in there. Alright, I made it. Plus the camera angle isn't exactly cooperative. Alright. So now we're in this hidden area. You don't have to come here, but it's worth it. Ignore the flight pad for now, but and go to the opposite side. And you see why coming in here is worth it. There's an extra honeycomb piece switch, like the one in Gobi's Valley. Makes the honeycomb piece appear all the way up there, so that's why we need to fly! So... There we go. Alright, so waste no time as you get out. Because you're going to be ambushed by Snacker. <laughs> Thankfully he doesn't leave that little enclosed area. But the fact they brought him back! Oh, you think... You think you were done with him? Nope! So then, let's do some more stuff. Careful, Banshee. Okay, cross this carefully. Okay, over here, and we got yeah another hazard. We can swim in this yellow, in this green stuff. But it hurts ya. And it has the same properties as the oily water, so it hurts you when you're on the sur- It makes your air go down when you're on the surface. Well, at least it's different from the oil, it's actually just hazardous waste. Right, before anything else, let's go over here and pay the four egg toll. And that'll come out. And now lead to these three warehouses. The middle one is closed off, but can still be entered through the top. Right, what's in here? Right, notes. Ikabukum. <laughs> Nothing was missed. Right. So now we're going to go into the other warehouse, the one on the right this time. Alright, this is an interesting one, this. We'll have to destroy all the boom boxes. Or rather, have them destroy themselves. Oh man, they're fast. And then this will happen. A one-up will actually appear. Okay, egg refill. That's it for this warehouse. So now we're going to go in the middle one. The main doors are closed, but we can get up there through the top. Jump on these. And down here. We've got a bit of a maze here. But down here... Somewhere. There's a Jinjo. There he is. Okay, nearly done. There's a lot of feathers in here. Or was there anything else of interest? Yeah, Mumble Token. Oh. Let's try again. Up! Oh. Ikabukum. Okay, so this this yellow thing in front of us is actually a crane. There's two of these. One goes up, one goes down. Yet my feet don't touch the ground. No, my feet don't touch the ground. They, it goes right through. Oh, you Sonic heroes. 
Right, so hit the switch and we're gonna have to be quick. Um Right. Don't rise that up, but not for long. You really are. You you really don't have much time for this, so hurry up. Huh, no wonder there's so much pollution. There's actually um factory is here. Alright, as long as you can get underneath it, you'll be fine. Because it doesn't fully drop down when you're underneath it. So therefore, rare and nice for that. They don't they don't trap you. Okay, let's see, what is there next? Well there's the other crane. But not just yet. I missed this mumble token. And these notes. Right, so this was where the switch was to slow those fan blades in the engine room. Haha, <laughs> you missed me. I think what I'll do next is definitely take care of that next crane. This one isn't time limited though. It will drop this TNT box. But first off, there's a tough to reach witch witch right there. Like I said, it's tough to reach, but you might want to jump for it, jump from it from like this line here. Oh uh, no 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 no! I messed up. Ow! <sighs> All right, I failed that time. Uh, let's give it another shot. Woo, woo. All right. Can I make it? No, that. But you're bound to take damage if you miss. All right. Ika bukum. Let's do this again. So like I said, the wit switch is tough to get to. Because you gotta make such such a perfect jump if you really wanna get to it. Okay. Yeah. Now that appears in a pretty easy spot. Up there. Right. Oh no. Oh come on Banjo. That wasn't that high. Well, either way. Okay, we're going to the right of the crane. We're gonna pay the toll there because it's pointless. I am paying this one though. Oh. Right. Cross this. Defeat these annoyances. And here's the orange ginger. I know where the last two are. And then I'll be done with this world. Yay! I and mean, like I said, this world isn't too bad. It's just the engine room that haunts me. Makes this level so hated by many. Right, so hit that and the TNT box will fall. And... <gasps> an opening! Geranimo! Hey look! A totally unguarded Jiggy! It's a boss fight! 
Who dares enter boss boombox's hold? I've hidden my jigsaw. You'll never get it. This is such an easy fight for such a hard world. Just hit him over and over and eventually he'll, he'll split. The smaller the box, then the less hits it takes. Right, the small ones, they don't split up. Ha 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 Ah, you've splintered me. Take this. I didn't want it really. Ha ha ha. You only came with that excuse because I beat you. I beat your splintered ass! Alright, going up. Here we are. At the top again, and... What am I doing? Oh yeah, the last jiggy involves us having to climb up. The... Rusty bucket. And the way that came out just now. Okay. So, just gotta do a bit of climbing. Almost done with this world. Which all I can say is relief! I mean that scream I did when I when I fell. I think attacking Tukens has competition. <laughs> When it comes to screaming LPS, he's pretty much the most famous one. Because he's not scared to scream his head off over getting a red rupee when he was supposed to get a wallet upgrade. Oh well. And here we go. We're done with this world. We're done with this world, people. We've done it. So I'm getting the hell out of here. Tisk, tisk. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Now then, we need to change the water level. Oh, that was not right. It bounced me into the. Please get up there. Of course you wouldn't. So there's the level 2 water switch. Here we go. This will flood this area. But more importantly it will allow us to get to the next world. Also, pay attention. There's a hole right up there. What could that possibly mean? Ooh. Suspense. Suspense. Yeah. Uh, oh, come on like that. So, oh. When Tootie is a big old... Oh, you said this before. Right, so there's next note door up there. Ignore that. Here's the Jiggy from the Wit Switch. And that means there's only 11 jiggies in the whole game. So yeah, we're about to wrap this up. But the next world is very long. But so much better than Rusty Bucket Bay. It's at least much more memorable and less annoying. All right, hit this one, level 3 switch. But there's a catch. This one's time limited. It's only for 30 seconds. Now you want to return to the Rusty Bucket Bay entrance. And remember that hole I pointed out? We have to go through there. As long as you don't dwaddle, you have plenty of time for this. There's the hole. So then the wall will go back down to level 2. And through here, guess who it is? Cheeto! 
Baron Bird getting good at finding Chino, so another spell they shall have. That traitor book has pushed its luck, so in the burning fire I'll chuck. Find Chino which won't. Code you must enter on Sandcastle floor in Treasure Trove Cove is Gold Feathers. And I just remembered I missed a mumble token. There's a mumble token all the way down here. Now, like I'd expect, we got a new code. I'm going to cut ahead until I get to the sandcastle in Treasure Trove Cove, so I will see you there. Okay, we're back here. So, gold feathers. No, don't think this will be the last time we'll have to come to the sand castle. Hint, hint. So, R S. So we have twenty gold feathers now. Twenty gold feathers, you get. Gold feathers, you may have twenty, but bruises, you'll still have plenty. All right, so that will do it for today. So glad to have that world out the way. So next time on Banjo Kazooie, we're gonna go to the ninth and final world, which, trust me, is so much better. So until next time, see you later.